What's up? It's Noria. Today is Wednesday, September 22nd. <laughs> I didn't upload last week because long story short, the footage to me wasn't super exciting and it just made the editing process a little bit hard to get through so I just decided not to go through with posting it. But a quick update, I went to Color Me Mine with one of my best friends, Juan, and he painted a mug. I painted a ring holder and it was really fun. And we both got our pieces already, so I'm really happy with how everything came out. I was also going to show footage of me going back to SF and back to Japantown, but because most of the footage was the same from when I went to SF like three weeks ago, I felt like you know why show it again. <laughs> so for today's video, I will be doing a tour of my pencil case because as you probably know, I bullet journal regularly. I have a ton of stationery, so I thought it would be interesting to show what I keep on a day-to-day -day basis for all you fellow stationery lovers out there. Of course, I will be listing all of the items I have in my pencil case in the description below along with links. Some of the stuff I got at stores that probably don't have websites, so I'll just find something very similar for y'all. But yeah, let's get into it. So I got my pencil case from Amazon from this random vendor. I don't know who they are. I was looking for something that was very spacious and had a lot of compartments yet was still somewhat aesthetic on the outside. And as you can see, it comes with two zipper pockets and a handle, which makes it really easy to carry, especially when it's heavy with all my stationery. When you open up the case, there's a mesh zipper pocket on the left side and a panel on the right side, which can be flipped up to reveal another compartment underneath, which you'll see in a bit. The mesh zipper pocket is where I keep most of my stationary tools. I have my Tombow double-sided tape, which dispenses like whiteout and I use it all the time. It's definitely one of my favorite tools. I also have this white pencil eraser that I've had since the beginning of college. I don't use pencil much, which is why there's still so much left. Up next are some pretty cool pen looking tools. This first one is the Sakura glue pen, which dispenses blue glue, which will dry clear and it's perfect for gluing down like little corners and bits of paper. So it's one of my favorite stationary items. This white pen is a ceramic pen cutter. You can't see it well here, but there is a very tiny blade at the end. And it's basically an alternative for an X-Acto knife, but I ended up getting one anyway, so I don't really use it much. And then this one here is a Tombow Mono Eraser, and it's perfect for erasing small details, especially when I'm sketching something in my bullet journal and I go over it in pen and I don't want to smudge the pen. And then this last thing is a pair of scissors. It's really nice because it folds down like a pen and saves a lot of space. You push down these levers or buttons <laughs> to make the loopholes for your fingers. I don't really use it that much, but it has come in handy a few times. On the right panel here is where I keep my Sakura fine liners in various sizes. We have 001, 01, 03, 05, the plastic nib in the 01 in brown as well as a mechanical pencil for any sketching I need to do. In the back pocket, I keep this plastic expandable ruler from Target in case I ever need a full-sized ruler. I don't use it too often, but it has come in handy as well. I mostly use the small metal ruler here, and it comes with cork on the back, so it doesn't slide around on the paper when you use it, which is really nice. And then the last one is the X-Acto knife. Like I mentioned before, it's one of the newest additions to my pencil case. And I started using it recently for my September bullet journal spreads because I needed it to cut out the washi tape. So flipping the middle panel aside, we get this spacious compartment for all my other writing utensils. This set of washi tape and pens are what I'm using for my September bullet journal spreads. So each month the combination will be different. This is my white acrylograph pen in 0.7 millimeters. It's a nice alternative for my white jelly roll pen if it's not as effective. These three are the Tombow Furunosuke hard tip brushes. I actually got the gray one recently and haven't gone to use it yet, so I'm excited for when the time comes. 
Then in the back here are my sakura jelly rolls. These were the first jelly rolls I ever bought and most of them are actually from the Grey Moonlight collection. The jelly rolls have become some of my favorite pens because they write really smooth and when they dry, it's a really nice matte color. And I like the grey ones because they're neutral and can be used for everything. Now moving on to the back of my pencil case, as you can see here it's pretty bare, it has some pen slots and pockets, and I keep this tissue here to sandwich between pages with wet ink, so it becomes really handy. Then I have a couple gold wire clips to hold down the pages in my journal, as well as some lead and a washi tape cutter. I don't keep much back here because it'll create bulk and I tend to forget about it anyway, so I don't flip to this side of my pencil case very often. And that's everything I usually keep in my pencil case. I hope y'all enjoyed the tour of my pencil case. If you have any questions on the supplies I use, feel free to comment. If you have any recommendations for anything I should try out, let me know. I do kind of have like a hefty stationary collection, probably not as big as like more enthusiastic people, but more than the average person, you know. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.